Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on Rocky Raccoon. That was my little deviation in the chorus to give it a little more pep, and I will talk about that later on in the video. So thanks for tuning in, and hopefully you learned something from this. Okay, you want to make sure to follow me in this tutorial that your standard 440 tuning. Okay, so your first chord is an A minor 7th, which is open A string. 2nd fret D, 2nd fret G, 1st fret B string, and 3rd fret on the high E string, which is a G note. So, and the way he strums it is thumb on the open A, and then your bottom four strings, you kind of strum with that pattern. Keep repeating that basically throughout the whole song. So that's the first chord in the song. You could do it either way, this way, or. Okay, and then the next chord is a D seventh sus four. This is the this is the fourth note in that chord or in that scale. So the open D, second fret on G string, first fret on the B string. And then you're keeping the third fret on the high E. So you're strumming the same exact way you strum the A7 chord, A7 minor. But you just do it one time. So you're coming from the A minor 7. And then you go to a D7 standard which is zero, two, one, two. So you're going. Okay, so starting that from scratch again is. Then it goes to your G chord normal way I play an open G is three, two, zero, 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 and then third fret on the high E. I usually do it with the, these fingers, uh, my second finger on the G. That way it's more comfortable to me, but in this particular song I play it um, with my third finger on the G, and then change the fingers that way. And then it goes to a G7, which is the same, uh, top two strings, and then you're changing your pinky, third fret to first fret. That's the G7 part of the chord. And then it goes to a C, uh, third fret uh, A string, second fret E string, open G, uh, first fret B string, then your high. G on the uh, on the high E string, so that's the C chord instead of a normal C, which I put the put the uh, this song pretty much has the constant high G throughout. So and then he just basically drops the C to a B, keeps the rest of the other part of the chord the same. Okay, so I'm going to go through that whole progression. Okay, so basically you can play the entire song with that four chord progression and strumming it the same way. And that includes through the chorus, it'll still play the same. So to start out with a rocky collapsed in the corner. Um, the way I do it, it's 
different from a couple other tutorials I've seen out there. I don't know if I've seen anyone do it the way I usually play it. So, Rocky collapsed in the corner. Okay, then the chorus, I'll do the, the A minor 7 chord, play it like this with my thumb on the A, and then I'll do the open E, same thing, so you just rotate between those so it has kind of a, kind of a walking sound to it. You play it kind of staccato like that. Then your D sus, D7 sus4. Oh, open D on the thumb and then A, same chord, and then back to D7, then G7, or G first, on the G, I pluck the G note uh, with my thumb, and then I move up to the D string, open, and then switch to G7. And then C, and I move the C after the C bass to a G. See moving this finger here, the ring finger. And then your B. You can go B, G, and then back to your A minor seven. So anyway, that's a fun little variation you can do on that. If you're a beginner, you, if you're a beginner, that might be a little challenging for you, but something fun to practice anyway. So that kind of works on your finger picking dexterity and all that good stuff. Also on the when I do the A7 walk there. Sometimes I'll play a little variation on the. I'll play this kind of walks it down to the D7. So it's uh, basically your A. Open E, and then uh, first fret on the D string. And that would be, I would play a D chord. I'm not actually sure what that is. It's got part of the sus4 in it. So it would be first fret, and then your second fret on the G string, first fret on the B, and third fret on the high E. So it would be... So it's just a little variation that I use in that part. It kind of gives it a little more almost like a bluesy feeling. I'll play it again. So aside from that four chord progression throughout the entire song, the only real different part, I believe, is just the end. After he um, plays the G7, at the end, does the doo-doo-doos. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do